the salt flats of South America make up one of the world's most remarkable landscapes, a sea of white so vast it's visible from space. It's a popular tourist attraction, but beneath the feet of visitors, there's a resource many believe will play a vital role in the future global economy. It's in this region where more than half the world's lithium can be found. University of Buenos Aires professor Ernesto Calvo is an internationally recognized expert on the metal. Lithium is the lightest metal, it's very electropositive, and the key is that lithium enables uh, energy density, very high the energy density. So many people are working on lithium sulfur and lithium air, lithium oxygen batteries, as uh, an alternative with uh, energy density comparable to, uh, to fossil fuels. Lithium is extracted here through evaporation and then used in batteries for electronic devices such as cell phones. Since larger batteries are needed to power the growing electric vehicle market, some analysts say demand for lithium is expected to nearly triple by 2025. This region of South America has become known as the Lithium Triangle, vast salt flats across Argentina, Bolivia and Chile. But while all three countries boast vast reserves of this metal, there is a very different conversation taking place in each country about the best way to exploit this resource. In Bolivia, President Evo Morales' government oversees production. By law, investors may only hold a 49% stake in any venture, the state holding the controlling 51% share. Bolivia's history is marked by bitter experiences when it comes to our natural resources. We see the need to create partnerships with transnational companies. But as the president says, we look for partners, not masters. Bolivia currently only exports small amounts of lithium. Neighboring Chile is one of the world's largest lithium exporters, but has strict quotas on production. So it is in Argentina, where the government is opening up its mining sector to investment, where small companies like New Era Metal Resources see the best opportunities in the region. The Argentine uh, government and, and uh, in particular the mining, the mining authorities, they realize and accept the fact that they are at least 20 years behind in terms of the development of, of the mining industry in their country, behind uh, countries such as Chile and Peru and they are very keen to, uh, to, um, to start that catching up uh, now. Lithium could drive that growth in Argentina, which aims to produce half of the world's lithium by 2020, according to the Energy and Mining Ministry. And as the renewable energy and electric vehicle sectors grow, so will Argentina, Chile and Bolivia in the way they shape the so-called lithium economy.